So here we are at the Meta Wales Studios in London. This is the home of the BBC Symphony Orchestra and um, we are about to hear the second rehearsal of a new work by mine called The Padmore Cycle. The, the premiere will be played by the BBC Symphony Orchestra with Ed Gardner conducting and of course Mark Padmore as the soloist. When I wrote the original version of this piece, I really wrote it for Mark Padmore because we've been friends for quite some, some time. I'm very fascinated by his way of singing and his flexibility as a singer, or rather to say as a musician. It was originally written for prepared piano. Thomas wrote it to, as, a, as a cycle for, for piano and voice and uh, has subsequently done this amazing orchestration. Um, so it, all this, the, the sounds that he was uh, conjuring out of the piano I, I, I now sort of realised in, as it were, Technicolor. Um, and uh, you, you, you get such a, a wonderful range from the orchestra. You know, Paul Hughes, the manager of the orchestra, gave me a hint that it might be nice to have it for orchestra as well. So I decided to, to go for it. He's given us this gargantuan orchestra to, to, to work with. And at first sight, it looks quite daunting to have a solo voice in this amazing orchestra with huge effects, enormous percussion section, tuned piano, um, low basses tuned down to low A's, which is, a very, which is a real rarity. But actually what he's done is give these extraordinary orchestral climaxes and in the middle of it, a playing of incredible finesse just for a few instruments. And that's a real joy and it creates a, an amazing atmosphere to have a hundred people on stage playing really as delicately and quietly as possible and uh, I think he's, uh, he's created something really special. When you are composing then, then a whole world is in your, your head and your head is very small, mine at least, <laughs> and so um, if it stays in there, you know, you know it, it's like if you, if you project the brain and, and the heart of the composer to a very large scale when you write for the orchestra so that you really get um, a big surface, a big landscape, which comes out from a very small um, brain or beam of light. What's, what's lovely with Thomas is, is we've talked about lots of different things. It's not just been you know, purely on, on, on musical uh, matters. Um, and we've talked about literature and, and, and spent time together. We connect, you know, I think, very well in, in, in various ways. He's ready to go to regions of his voice uh, which are normally not touched by a classical singer. He wants to take risks and he's, he's, the, he's, he's a daring singer and he really doesn't is not shy of, you know, standing there blank without vibrato and without a big voice. The texts were written by two friends of mine uh, called Hans Aschenwald and Alois Hotschnik. They're both writers living in the same region as I do and I've, I've been friends with, with them for ages. The poems themselves are all pretty short, um, rather cryptic verses. Um, a little bit like Samuel Beckett, little sort of snippets of, of almost of, uh, of a thought or, a, or, a, or an atmosphere. And it seems to me that, that, that it's, a lot of them are sort of reacting to the claustrophobia of, of, of the landscape, which has these very steep valleys and, uh, and life is, is lived, um, for the most part, down in the valleys. Um, but there's this great urge to go up, um, uh, up into the, the higher pastures, up into the mountains.
nature plays an, a major part in, in how I see the world. I remember when I grew up, I still had the privilege to grow up in a world which um, had more to do with nature than it usually has for, for uh, urban youth nowadays. And I think it's also in a way vanishing because um, most people don't know what how nature really feels and what, what, what the sounds are or what the smells are, how, how a real fire smells. And you know, have, when have you last um, smelled that? All those things with nature, so in this, in this sense, don't have specifically to do with Austria or the Tyrol. Nature is, is, is very similar um, in most regions as just as human beings are basically very similar in most regions of the world. So I would see this far more universal than just um, it can't be pinned down to, to some region where I was born by accident.